Hello. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a YouTube anything. It's 1st of April today, so yeah, happy uh, April Fools. Um, just following up on the nitrogen meeting that we did together with uh, Cork Grassland Services there um, a couple of weeks ago where we talked about, you know, how much N could have been mobilised and how much opportunity have we had to increase our growth rates by, by um, applying N. So, you know, from the first meeting I would have said I really wanted to get slurry on that bottom third of the wedge so anybody that's still got um, some proportion of the first rotation left to graze hopefully that should have got slurry earlier on and and by my reckoning nothing else and of course there's a lot of people thinking shit that's that's very low you know like what are we missing out on so just at a client's place here who actually didn't do anything and i was just finding it interesting to look at uh he's got seven days worth of grass left in the first rotation which i'm just pulling his meal back today to try and get through it a little bit quicker um, because um, uh, just everything's growing up pretty well behind him uh, the first graze covers are sitting at uh, 800 900 kilos dry meter per hectare so you know it's what 23 2400 uh, kilos dry meter per hectare total and uh, it's now growing at 50 a day so everything that has been grazed only ever got uh 22 kilos of nitrogen per hectare on the uh 21st of march so it's the first nitrogen it went on so anything that hasn't been grazed has had nothing to date at all so just looking at this grass here uh look it's it's got great color um there's still good cover on here it's been growing away and uh yeah we'd be pretty happy with with the way the place looks so it's still not ideal i feel that when he does graze this is going to be a little bit more lag because it never did have any nitrogen at all but you know i'm happy with what's happened with uh with how it looks with zero nitrogen to date how much could have we changed with um if we'd applied 30 kilos of nitrogen per hectare to date I, I just don't know cows are doing 27 litres 2.25 kilos of milk solids um, just out day and night and um, yeah from today they'll be on uh, 4 kilos a meal for another 4 days maybe and then hopefully dropping back to 3 and back to 2 so um, yeah things are changing very quickly and I think it's happening everywhere already growth rates are going up that's what I always say when the grass wants to grow it'll grow um, we've been able to manipulate very little with nitrogen to date so I'm just going to go and have a look at a paddock that he's just grazed that still hasn't had any nitrogen and we'll just have a look at what's happened there yeah so just come into this paddock uh, cows came out of here three days ago and uh, like I said it's still had zero nitrogen to date um, would have liked to have seen something go on but yeah it's um, recovery is good the colour is good so there's again there's 22 kilos of nitrogen per hectare going on this now today um, and yeah we'd expect to see growth rates sitting well over 50 a day over the next week so um, happy enough with where things are at and of course you know when you're when you're advising these lower rates you'd always be aware that um, you don't want people missing out on an opportunity to uh, grow grass in this early part because the value of grass is so high growth rates have been low this spring and and that means that a lot of people are questioning uh you know is it due to a lack of nitrogen and it certainly hasn't been and looking at so many measures some paddocks have had 30 kilos of nitrogen and the one next door has had none and we haven't seen any difference in growth rates or well, one farm has had even 50, 55 kilos of nitrogen and the next door has had 20. We don't see any difference in growth rates, you know. So um, happy enough with the way things are looking. And um, yeah, from now on, just 
make sure you make some hay while the sun shines because it's a, it's a brilliant spring. The soil is in an excellent position this year with, with such amazing conditions. Uh, you know, next to no damage done by cows grazing this spring. We're in such a different position than this time last year that uh, you know you can get out there, graze, follow the cows with maybe a kilo of nitrogen per hectare per day. So if you're on a 20 day rotation, 20 kilos of nitrogen. You know, when you're talking about the old terms, even a bag of 18612 is, is excessive. Um, so, you know, you need to really think about what are you trying to do for a diet? Are we trying to grow crazy kilos of dry matter per hectare per day and create huge surpluses? Or are we trying to create the right diet for the cows, which needs to be a, a slightly higher nutrient density and and uh you know excessive n really reduces that nutrient density you know next thing you know mating is just around the corner for the spring calving herds and having excessive n in the diet isn't going to help that so um so yeah happy days um keep farming on <laughs>